it was Peter that put Tommy Burns in his head of youth and um, I remember signing my deal Come, mum and dad coming down from Glasgow uh, four year deal and uh, Tommy met him at Celtic Park had a meal with mum and dad and then went to Peter's office to sign and Tommy was giving it the old part of this guy this boy will make us a fortune and then obviously like every time I'd seen Peter he's saying when are you going to make us a fortune? I, was, I wasn't doing well, so I said, I'll be making you teas and coffees, no, making you a fortune soon. But anyway, obviously Tommy died. And uh, it's, it's the impression of people, I think people get a Peter that he's cold and standoffish. I found it totally different. And he was brilliant with me when Tommy died in terms of the funeral, all the younger boys. And then I went to Swindon that, that next year. I went down to Swindon, uh, got to the player final single-handedly, took them to the player final. It was magnificent that <laughs> year. <laughs> and then I'm sitting in my room the night before playing at Wembley. Me and my, my roommate and my phone rang. Never never recognised the number, but I was uh, I was texting a lot of girls at that time, so I thought I'd better answer this. And it was Peter, phoned us and said, uh, what you wearing? No, he never said that. He said, um, just to let you know that, uh, to wish you all the best tomorrow and just to let you know that Tommy would be really proud of you. And do you know what I mean? That and I remember nearly, nearly like greeting in my room just and Peter uh, well, just had a, a big chat. And do you know what? That's a but people didn't see that touch. side, Fergie. Do you yep. know what I mean? Uh, it's a special touch. It's a nice touch. And do you know what? That would have gave you a good bit of motivation. But do you know what? Yeah, I, I went out and had an absolute shocker. So it never, <laughs> never does any good. <laughs> the Goal Radio Football Show. Let's